What's up everybody, Latent Gamer here and welcome back to another video. I noticed that a few people enjoyed my last video on the Gunslinger build, so today we are going to dive right into the best build for the Exterminator class. So the Exterminator is a class who specializes at crowd control, thinning out swarms and keeping them at a distance. This class specializes at using Molotovs and Claymore, which is very interesting because what this means for us is that you can play this class two completely different ways passive or aggressive however this class reloads weapons very slowly compared to a class such as gunslinger so it discourages aggressive playstyles so if you are the gunslinger type who want to try something different and want to try out this class the reload is going to be really annoying so starting at number one any three of these nodes would be fine you can choose the first one which makes fire damage 50% stronger because fire is really great at killing zombie swarms, especially bolts. You can choose the second one which makes the fire burn longer. Any one is fine but that's if you choose to play with molotovs. I personally went for the third one, crowd control which allows you to push back zombies 50% farther seeing that this class is no good in close combat. For the second column, I went for all elbows which removes the speed penalty you get when zombies are close which is good for running away and repositioning if surrounded by zombies. I chose not to go with rage mode for this build because you don't get pinned down by zombies that often. For the third column, I didn't choose dragon hide because I don't get burned by fire that often. But in this column, this is where you have the option to carry one of two weapons as your third. You can choose either the RPG L4 which does 100% more damage. However, the drawback for me with this weapon is that it only has one rocket and after firing you are left with only your primary and secondary weapon. So the best choice right here would be the improved Taiga 12 heavy assault shotgun. It does 25% more damage and holds 25% more ammo which would make it 60, 62 shells. This gun is a beast at taking down zombie swarms. In the fourth column, you will have the choice to start with either 25% more shotgun shells or starting with the ARK-103. And I know what I would definitely choose, my AK. In the fifth column, you will have the option to choose between using Molotovs or Claymore. If you prefer Molotovs, then your only option here is a Combat Engineer, which gives a 20% chance to restore an expended defense kit. However, in a survival game, you should never utilize any percentage below 100. So I would recommend choosing Fire Trap, which allows your claymores to set fire to the surrounding area after exploding. Green Fingered is also a good one, but you will get a similar perk later in this class. In the sixth column, second win was my node of choice. And what this does is, in a nutshell, when you lose all of your health, instead of getting knocked, you instantly get 25% more health to continue fighting. However, if you were grabbed by a special zombie, like a lurker or a bull, then they would just continue beating the shit out of you until you are knocked. Job satisfaction is also a good one, but I didn't get a chance to experiment with it, and you can just ignore the third one because you can get the same perk later on. In the seventh column, it has to be bullet rain, because this allows you to reload your weapons faster by 25%, and because of how slow base reload speed is, anything helps. Third hand seemed interesting and this perk reloads your primary weapon instantly after killing 15 zombies in rapid succession. Now, you might be thinking, Layton Gamer, all I have to do is spray my gun in a crowd and I never have to reload. And you might be right, however, I experimented with this and it does not work unless you swap to your secondary weapon and maybe your melee weapon because when shooting at a swarm. Even if you get only headshots, I want you to know, your teammates are always helping. And more than likely, if only using your primary weapon, you are going to reload before killing 15 zombies. But I might be wrong, so you can test it out and let us know in the comment section down below. In the 8th column, it's party at my place, which allows you to carry more claymores or molotovs. And finally in the 9th column, you have a choice and this is based on unfinished business we talked about earlier with green fingered and cloak and dagger. You can choose to make your claymores and molotovs kill 25% more targets or choose to disappear and not be detected by zombies if you are the last person standing on your team. Please bear in mind that the cloak only lasts for 3 seconds, the choice is yours. So please guys, 
The feedback really helps. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like down below, comment if you have any questions or tip, and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video.